I wonder what kind of music Steve puts on to get the dog in the mood, like uh, village people or someone like that. You must spend uh, all afternoon waiting for this. This is your high point every day. By the way, just be careful. He's going to probably accuse you of being a narcissist, too. Boy, he really... uh, I wasn't the one that accused you of uh, being a narcissist. It was jolly. But uh, I thought he was never so accurate in diagnosis. Jolly's a smart guy. He studies a lot uh, in later life. And I think uh, he's pretty good at what he does. What is study, Terry? Just everything. I've heard him read stuff out here and play it on the air and stuff. Just... uh, Stuff you'd probably refer to as just educational stuff. I I like it when people talk about things that are educational, refer to them as stuff. Yeah, well, I don't know. I guess uh, my vocabulary uh, sucks. Of course, I majored in English for that reason. I'm not sure. Why are you jamming me? You don't know what jamming. Hang on. Are you sure? When you stop talking, complete a thought, I assume you're done. But if you start up again, then you think somebody's jamming you. Why don't you just go away, and then all this will be fixed. Why don't you stop being a cranky old bitch? Because you started it, okay? Because you started it. This is not excuse me. I wasn't finished with my thought, and you immediately keyed up over me. Oh, Todd, it's going to consist of... Push this forward. I'm sorry. You're done. I don't know why you're doing this. I I mean, I have no real problem with you. But I have to admit, you're jamming me now. That's not fair. You don't like what I have to say? That's fine. You have a radio. You have a switch on that thing, don't you? Turn the damn thing off again and you say, oh, shoot, they're jamming me out. Nobody's jamming you out. It's your style. You're you're, uh, used to being able to talk nonstop, uh, and then somebody uh, comes on that you uh, you, uh, uh, call out. Are, are you are you absolutely like completely lacking any kind of self awareness? Jamming you to teach you a lesson about jamming, Terry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Terry's not jamming me by jamming me, right? I'm not jamming you. Uh, I, I, I think he's over me to do it, right? You're such a narcissist. You just fit the definition. You should read the definition of. Uh, narcissist because you hit every base well tell you what there old man why don't you go ahead and read it for me go find a copy of your funkin wagnall i've already read it okay i know what it is but uh, look i'll just go away because i know this is why you come down here james same way james uh isn't always like this though he just loves it but uh, uh, you just go ahead and tell us the later latest adventures of uh, your renters and uh, uh, you go on for about the next hour
<laughs> He's probably jamming me right now. This is a high point of your day, Terry. You love this. Uh, that's why I'm leaving right now. Yeah, it's, yeah, you know, I can't miss you if you don't leave. See, he started this up. Uh, uh, he's got a sore spot. That word, uh, narcissist, is so goddamn to the point that it he can't get rid of it. Sometimes the truth hurts, Terry. Uh, okay. I just told him to go ahead and read it. Read it to the user base out here. Go find his dictionary and read it. I have done that. So what I uh, asked you to do, um, but uh, uh, you go ahead. He's probably jamming me right now. Well, Terry, Terry, Carrie, whatever your name is, old man, I'm sorry you're that miserable and bitchy. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know you uh, other than what you're doing here on the air, and frankly, you're you're a very self-unassured individual. You can't let anyone say anything else. If you don't like it, you just jam them the F out. Good for you. Hey, Terry comes from a time where they called black people colored and shit like that. Yeah. You know, it was okay to, to bully somebody and you know, all, all kinds of fucked up shit back in them days. You mean the good old days? Kind of. Well, he was the one that uh, initiated all of this. And this is what he came for. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. You, uh... Okay, I'm not doing this anymore. Uh, no, I was asking James, why was he trying to cause a problem with Steve? Because that was going to be a big, fat mess. Why would he stick his head in a wood chipper like I laugh because after all these years, people still think they'll change Steve. It was, you know, without realizing that he's been doing this shit for, what, 20, 30 years? Maybe longer than that? As long as I've been out here. And, yeah, that's probably about right. At least two plus decades. That's, that's why it's funny. That's why when I, I, I just, I'm just nice to him. Because I've, I've learned that you, you focusing time on Steve is exactly what he wanted. So he, he wins. And if he could get you going and get a group of people going for more than an hour just talking about him, he fucking won. You make a good point, Luke. I think I never anything. James, I was just nice to him, hi, bye, blah, 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 that's that. <laughs> I, 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 went through, I went through some stuff with him from about five, six years ago, well, about eight, nine years ago, and uh, I, I, I learned, I learned it. <laughs> the new guy gets it. I don't think he's new. Yeah, there's no beating Steve. The only way you beat Steve is like taking it off the air, and that's lame too. So there, there really is no beating. James, shut your fucking pie hole already. Nobody wants to hear you. Shut your mouth. You're dismissed. About face forward, march, walk of shame. I don't want to hear you, man. You talk about me when I'm here, when I'm not here. Move on. Oh, and Mr. Hoffman, just to let you know, I when James was out there just kind of just doing whatever he was doing, he was talking shit about you. I just told him, dude, why do you want to do that? Why do you want to stick your head in a wood chipper? You're just going to wreck the repeater. Everyone's going to get all hostile, and, and it's just going to wreck the time that I could spend talking about me, just like Perry, Terry, or Carrie said, because I'm a narcissist. I'd rather have a nice, clear channel so I can talk about me all the time. James likes to muck things up with his little boyfriend, uh, Squeaky3, who's banned from this frequency, by the way. 
but he comes out here and duffs his band, Edward Duff Gordon. But they disrespect uh, KW6 USA. I guess they want to pay through the nose with an NAL. But whatever, that's their business. James, shut your fucking mouth. You're a young punk kid that's never learned any respect for their elders. You've never learned to how to shut your mouth. Your father did not do a good job of raising you. And you're incorrigible. You just need to shut the fuck up. Focus on something else. Oh, Mr. Hoffman, what do they say? Children should be seen, not heard. Yeah, that's what they say. And actually, I don't want to see him. Um, neither does my girlfriend of 18 years. She thinks he's a piece of garbage. Anybody that uh, can run with James has got a serious problem. Hey, and you, Mickey Mouse, can't even talk in a real voice, or maybe your head is so far up your ass, that is your real voice. This is N6ZKZ. That happened in cocksuck. I play the marching band. Ah, uh, well, you're another doofus. A liberal, a doofus. Well, there was that one time at band camp with that flute thingy, you know, you know. John's in love with the skin flute, you know. It was Sherry, right, John? Remember that? God bless PQW. Send him an email to have him come back out here, John, and set you straight. Did, uh, did PQW, is he still alive? Uh, he's uh, living in the valley, he's still alive. Okay, right on. Is that John? Mr. Jolly? What? Is that Mr. Jolly? Oh, that's Ted Sorensen. No, 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 no. I, I never, no, no. I'm saying the other station, is that John Jolly? I can't quite tell. I don't know. That doesn't sound like him. All this internet stuff makes me confused. Maybe uh, your head bouncing around from sucking Joe Biden's dick all the time might might have rattled your brain a little bit. Wow. We're going to have a Vitamix net later on. What's going on there, Tweak your Desert Dweller? Huh? Isn't that the thing that Cora didn't buy you? That's something that she did buy me. And I'm going to go over numerous recipes for soups. I didn't know you could make a soup in one of those. Soups and baby food for you, James. And uh, dog treats and all sorts of things. Smoothies, healthy smoothies, ice cream, if you're into that. All sorts of things. I'm really impressed. Uh, real quick, uh, Jiggle Jiggle Foster, did you hear about DEK? Over. I heard him acknowledging that. Kaiser roll. God bless Dennis Kaiser roll. I think Foster has to wait for the repeater to drop out. Uh, James, just shut up, would you please? Do everybody a favor. Just shut up. We don't need to hear you every key done. Gonna get that fucking dog pregnant. James, grow up. I was trying to let the repeater drop so Foster could come back and say yay, nay, or otherwise. I would imagine he had by now. Jiggle, jiggle. He has, because I believe I heard him talking about it yesterday or today. All the days are blending in, but um, yeah, the repeater did drop. I don't know if you heard it. It did drop. Is that dog on birth control? You referring to Kelly? Cocksucker, you want to ruin it for everybody, or you just want to shut your pie hole? I'll shut my pie hole. You want to make it all about you and ruin the continuity repeater on drive time? Because I can accommodate you. I said I'll shut my pie hole. Just shut your fucking pie hole. Let other people talk.
talking all day, Steve. Well, I've been been out here all day, asshole. So that shows what you don't know. The GPS on your car hasn't moved. I checked. Uh, yeah, right. You check nothing. And you get nothing. And you are nothing. Down, you know I'm right. You're an idiot. I'll be happy when you move out of the San Fernando Valley. Sooner the better. What, you dying? A 10-9? You heard me. Well, that's the band station. Let me uh, timestamp that. Uh, 538 on... Uh, 1738. Kitty Fix RPJ not banned at this time. And I talked to USA this afternoon. And you are definitely banned. You are definitely banned. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Banned all the way around, right? What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Just like everything else. It's going to cost you a lot of money when everything's said and done. But that's, you know, that's money you have, you claim. The FCC doesn't give two shits. But there's more. But you know what? They give a shit about you. How about that? Really, fat boy? Oh, there you go with the fat. Jesus Christ. Really want to ruin the continuity of the repeater? I'm willing to be quiet for a little bit, but uh, why don't you shut your fucking mouth? Yeah, that's not happening. Why don't you shut the fuck up? You fucking make me. You cocksucker. You piece of shit. You garbage can. You garbage mouth. You infant. Steve, you're talking to a station that's banned. Go fuck yourself with your jamming remote. He's talking on your jamming remote. KE6MF. It resides at ALT's location, but it's not ALT's quote unquote jamming remote. But you know what? ALT, correct, you're talking to supposedly banned stations. That remote is at 18,000 Bull Canyon Road, Granada Hills. Bull Canyon Road, Granada Hills, California, 9XXX-1712, right? 91344-1713, and David Bailey has exposed uh, John and Sue. I've read. I've read. Fuck the bugger. Again, you're unauthorized to talk out here. 541. 1741, still haven't received a letter. Not legally binding ban at this time. Continue to transmit until I get the letter. How about that? That'll cost you. You're pretty dumb. You're going to make uh, a great loss. You're going to lose a lot of money over a ham radio. And that's why they, that's why they call you dumb dumb.